Let's talk the weekend game. Hello, I'm back again this time with the preview for the Mariners game as they host Crawley at the weekend. And of course, the club will be celebrating a 145-year history all together for the club. It's going to be uh, uh, qu uh, quite a day, shall we say. It's going to be quite an extravaganza, you could say. That. Um, obviously, from players and... Um, managers and coaching staff and all sorts will be at the game. I think a couple of the people that are. I mean, I think Tony Ford is due to be there. I think uh, Alan Buckley is definitely due to be there. Um, and a few um, and a few other surprises, I believe, that uh, will be there for the big celebration for the Mariners as we celebrate 145 years. <sighs> That pleases me. And uh, <laughs> I'm here to talk about the game that's going on on the same day as uh, Grimsby host Crawley Town in League Two. Uh, there will be later on this evening a League Two uh, preview altogether, so look out for that. That is coming uh, tonight, in fact, that will be coming, so look out for that. But let's go on and talk about the match itself for them. Um, for this coming weekend. The, the Mariners, like I said, host Crawley Town. Um, now, uh, Crawley are basically uh, punching way above their weight uh, because obviously last year they struggled with, uh, uh, you know, struggled towards relegation and very close to relegation last year. But they're far from that this year. Uh, they, they've... Um, They've really had a very, very, very solid start to the season, uh, which y you've got to be honest, um, uh, you've got to give them credit for. And Scott Lindsay, who um, is their manager, is really getting them playing some really, really, really nice stuff. And um, they're kind of showing the way that that they want to play. They look like they like to be on the front foot. They like to be. Um, they like to have an attacking mindset and a good passing game. So this could be a difficult game for Grimsby, even though we are unbeaten at uh, Blundell Park so far this season. I think it's been about two weeks since the Mariners were at home. Um, you know, so it's uh, <laughs> it's going to be weird soundings, I think, for the lads because they haven't done it in in two weeks, but. Uh, if we go a little bit more into the uh, overall match um, match records, uh, in recent times, Grimsby Town and Crawley Town have played 14 times, and it's very close between the two. Uh, Grimsby have won five times, Crawley have won four times, and five draws each. Um, and there's a goal scoring ratio of 17 goals to 16. Uh, Grimsby have that one goal favour in those 14 matches uh, it means overall that the, the win ratio uh, for Grimsby is 35 you know, 36% um, 28% around about 27 29% sorry for Crawley and the rest go in draws there's been five draws between the two teams as well. So that just shows you really how closely contested um, this fixture is. The last four times uh, the Mariners and Crawley have come up against each other. We'll take you back to 2020 when um, the Mariners um, did win 2-1 at Crawley. And um, they also got did the double that season. As in February of 21, uh, Grimsby got a 2-1 win over Crawley Town. Um, and last season, uh, Grimsby won 3-0 at, uh, at home uh, against Crawley. And drawing 1-1 uh, last time out in uh, March um, against tomorrow, um, Saturday's opponents. And um, obviously the, the the big story there obviously is 
the return of uh, the horse, uh, which is Daniel Orsi, who is now um, with with Crawley and is um, really doing really well for them. Really, he's doing very well. He's a good player. Very well, very very well liked here. Uh, I know I like Danilo, um, and uh, you know he's he's had a very very good start at Crawley. But hopefully, as Paul said in his pre-match presser, hopefully it um, it, it doesn't happen uh, on Saturday, and uh, we can deem ourselves an advantage. But Danilo, what I'd like to say a little bit about Danilo Orsi is. Um, underestimated by fans I think such a, a lovely guy a great guy um, worked hard he didn't get that many chances uh, with us uh, he was definitely our cup striker and boy oh boy did he uh, do the business when he did get on the field in the big games you know he really did um, he endeared himself to um, to the man as faithful and uh, I did see the video that he, when he left um, Grimsby, he did for little Reggie. And um, I know that he said that he'll probably, hopefully going to see Reggie. Um, uh, when obviously, when Crawley come here. So, uh, but it'll be good to see the horse again, you know, um, apart from hopefully not uh, scoring in our net. But it'll be good to see Danilo back and... Uh, I'm actually so pleased for him that he's he's got the uh, he's got the time uh, and the playing time that he wants and probably deserves, you know, and uh, and that he's very um, he's settled quite quickly at Crawley and like I said, I'm very very pleased for the for Danilo. Uh, if we look here, obviously we've got the top goal scorers for us. Uh, obviously, is Abu Issa. Um, Crawley's top goal scorer is Adam Campbell. Uh, Will Wright is the top assist maker for them. Um, like I said, they've started uh, like an absolute house on fire. Um, for a team, you know, the size of Crawley. Uh, small, small club, really. Um, I think... Um, I think this is one of the games that, at home... You'd be fairly, fairly comfortable with, um, but cautiously confident because I don't think it's going to be a, um, like I said, it's not going to be a gimme. They have uh, good players, a bit of team news uh, for the man as well. Like I said, probably have good players and they seem to have a good, uh, good style going forward for them. Hopefully, after Saturday would be very, very nice. Thank you, Crawley. But back to some of the Mariners' team news. Um, there has been a couple more knocks, um, unfortunately. Uh, some of them have, uh, have happened over this week. Obviously, Paul would not divulge who they were and who they are. Um, he was asked about Danny Rose and uh, and Abo Issa. he said uh, he's fairly confident of one of those again wouldn't divulge who he was confident of one of those but uh, but the other one is will definitely not be available so we will definitely be be definitely without either Issa or Rose depending it could be both but at least one of those would be without regardless Kevin Green is um, he probably won't be back till uh, Paul probably next month before uh, before he comes back but he is you know he's getting on the grass he is starting to work but he's still feeling a few things with injuries um, you know and probably still a bit tender and um, so there's some good parts in there some some bad parts you know you always want a, a fully fit squad and um uh, donovan wilson he vaguely gave his answer there might be a chance of him somehow being involved 
Um, you take that with a pinch of salt, really. Um, but we need somebody like Donovan to be to be getting back because we are so thin, thin on the ground with 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 well, strikers, really. But uh, he was a bit. Uh, he, he was vague in uh, obviously not with his direct answers, but. We might see Donovan involved, maybe on the bench, possibly. Um, you know, he's he's not ruled it out, but he's obviously not fully ruled it in. But you know, with Paul, you never know. Uh, Paul can always throw something up that no one expected. So the the, the team news for Grimsby is uh, half and half. It's fifty percent uh, disappointing, fifty percent. Um, positive to, to, to go around we'll just have to wait and see how we go if we look at the league table now between the two sides Crawley as you can see yeah, they uh, they lay in sixth place with four wins a 50% strike rate in way of uh, of wins they've drew two and they've lost two they've scored 14 goals and conceded 15 so um I it's um you know there's there's plenty of goals in Crawley games. They've got fourteen points, won two, drew one and lost the last two. Whereas Grimsby, as I said, we lay in fifteenth place, uh two wins from eight games, draw drew four and lost two. Obviously the last game uh was losing uh, at Wrexham, uh, but we did we did play well in parts in that game, but just not enough. The record so far in the league is uh, drew three of the last five, winning one of those and only losing one since. Um, so you know it, it's tight. I mean, they're four points ahead of us in the league. Um, it it's it's gonna be it's gonna be tight and interesting as to what exactly happens this time around. Uh, I, I I think it's a fifty fifty game. Uh, at home though, like I said, we are unbeaten so far this season. Um, so there is that positive to cling to. No. Uh, prediction time it all depends on who we definitely have available and uh, who we don't but I'm I'm going to be positive because I think y you've got to be um, you know I'm, I'm going to be positive I'm going to say uh, I'm going to say a 2-0 win for Grimsby Town over Crawley um, goal scorers Clifton and Hollahan for me um, but obviously we need a rebound from the loss last week uh, in the end deservedly lost it in the way of scoreline not probably the way we played at times but uh, for me a 2-0 win for the Mariners over Crawley uh, do get your predictions in down below or anywhere on my social media do let me know what you your thoughts are for uh, the game between the Mariners and Crawley. Um, do let me know some of your memories as well of uh, your time supporting Grimsby with this being the 145th uh, anniversary of the uh, uh, of the creation of Grimsby Town Football Club. Uh, I'll, I'll just quickly give you one of mine. Um, I I've got to say it has to be probably the the win at Anfield, the Phil Jevons uh, goal um, that um, took everyone by um, by surprise. I wasn't at Anfield that night, but I was listening to it and I was watching the scores come in. And obviously, when Guy McAllister got that penalty in extra time, I thought, well, that that's it, it's done. Uh, but that that goal by Phil Jevons 
But everyone forgets the goal before, which was Marlon Booms with a with a um, well, like a, a little downward volley. And uh, you know, I think overall defending with that for our lives that night, and uh, got probably got what we deserved really. And uh, like I said, that is a goal that has gone down in, in Grimsby Town folklore. As well as if you want to look at the cup, you've got to say the win over Spurs, John Borkalala with um, with the goal uh, as well in the 88th minute there. That was in Russell Slade's first time in charge of uh, Grimsby. But also, like I said, we've had um, so many good memories beating Lincoln in, in the playoffs as well. Was fantastic. Gary Jones uh, won the goal scores that night. It, it just um, you know, this club, these the these fans, this club. When when we get it right, and when we're all together, in um, all together as one, in it, you know we're we're a fantastic club, and um, people will know that. And I'm I'm so proud to be. I've been a fan now since uh, nineteen ninety two. So I've got old enough to remember when I started to really get into Grimsby, uh, really supporting them. I've only been a season to get older for around about eight years. And um, uh, it was just because when I was younger, I just wasn't able to get season tickets. But, um, um, you know, always, always followed Grimsby for nearly, well, over 30 years now. And... Um, Proud to be a black and white, and uh, I think uh, my saddest uh, moment as a Grimsby fan, results-wise, well, situation-wise, I've got to say was was the first relegation to non-league, um, and uh, um, boy, did that hurt, you know. But both times you could see it. The last relegation we had didn't really. I think it was just combined to go, do you know what? The club deserved to go down. And I think uh, everyone then came together after that again and showed the strength of a united Grimsby. And I think uh, what we've done in the last two years, um, and I think we'll have something similar this season. It's, you know, it'll get there. But uh, I think uh, my memories of being a man of... Uh, uh, Roller coaster really of ups and downs, and do leave me some of your uh, memories of uh, following Grimsby Town all these years. The older generation, you know, can you remember when Lyman Menemy was in charge, uh, when George Kerr was in charge? Um, obviously, I know, uh, you know, uh, well known about Alan Buckley and everything else, but any stories from the older generation of Grimsby fans that, that, that know what Grimsby was like in. In the seventies, in the sixties, and it'd be nice to get an um, early eighties, really. Um, you know what what it was like to uh, to um, know Gunsby from that day and age. So that's this video done. I'm like I said, I'm saying a two 0 win for the Mariners. Um, be confident and all that, and uh, do please like, please do subscribe, please do share. Uh, this video and please do get your memories of Grimsby Town down below for me let me know your prediction for the game if you're going to be at the game um, enjoy it if you do see me come and say hello um, I'm glad to have a little word with you about um, about any memories that you guys or I that I haven't already uh, discussed uh, to speak about and favourite players and so on and so forth um, so if I do see you do come and say hello I'm, uh, I, I'm always in the uh, I'm always in the main stand so come and say hello and um, I will uh, I will speak to you manners very very soon guys uh, do enjoy the game tomorrow we'll try to I know it's not easy but uh, we'll try and enjoy the game tomorrow and hopefully uh, roll the manners on to Tomorrow, so yeah, Saturday. I'm getting my days. <laughs> um, but, um, you know, 
Um, but there you go. I've just I've just muddled myself up here. So um, yeah. So hopefully we'll. Um, I'll speak to you next week with a, another preview. Look out for my League Two preview that's coming out as well uh, later on. Uh, later on tonight, it'll be um, doing it in a. As I'm recording this video, probably an hour from now. So do look out for the League Two uh, predictions uh, for the week and what I think is going to happen. And anyway, in the meantime, let me talk about waffling. I'll see you guys very, very soon with another video. Up the banners and let's try and get the next three points. I'll see you soon, guys. 145 years. Wow.